and for another top penny this weekend against Glasgow, do you still have plenty to play for themselves? Yeah, yeah, big time. Like they've, um, they're right in the mix as well. They, this is their last game, so there's a lot on the line for them. Um, we've obviously two to go, and you never know what might happen. So we're we're looking at getting the win, maybe chasing that um, bonus point, and you never know what might happen. Um, but obviously, Scotstown is a tough place to go. They're a good side. They're in good form. They've picked that up um, since the start of the Rainbow Cup, and. Had a good win against the Dragons there on the weekend, so uh, yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a tough fixture. And have you been eyeing up your back three as well to see what you'll be coming up against yourself? Yeah, yeah. I suppose the person who stands out mostly is Hastings. Like he's obviously made the switch from out half to to full back, and he's um, helping out Thompson, the the new young out half who will probably take over the reins in Glasgow over the next couple of years with Hastings moving on. So. Yeah, he's a serious threat. He's a serious player. He's um, he's that playmaker, as I was saying. Um, so we've been looking at him and Stain and a few of the, their other threats. So, um, yeah, they have plenty of options, in fairness. And on Friday last week, it was announced that there'd be 1,200 fans at the, the final pool stage game for the Rainbow Cup. There must be a massive boost for, for players in the wider squad. Yeah, 100%. Everyone's so excited. Like, it's getting to the stage where we're fed up without fans and uh, you want that buzz back in the in the stadium and like 1200 isn't that much but I'm sure they're going to be making noise and getting behind the team and uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, people trying to get those tickets so I'm sure they'll be hard to come by but yeah just to get something uh, going again and getting a taste for it um, I suppose at the end of the season it'll be it'll be brilliant.